Hello and welcome everyone. We're going to take a look today at doing some color matching, something that's very overlooked and underrated in my opinion. A lot of people just don't know it even exists. So today I've pulled up several images you can see up here in my bar. But uh, this is going to be my uh, go-to image for, for the colors that I want to use in this particular demonstration. Uh, it this could be any photograph that we have and let's just say for the sake of argument I want to use an image that has lots of color and well lots of color I guess is the primary thing here now some of these other images uh, don't have a lot of color and contrast to them especially this one so we're going to use uh, this image as the color example for the other images to fall in line with I guess you could say so so let's go to the uh, first image uh, this one uh, is really green right and I want to bring some of that other information into this so what we need to do is go to image adjustments and go down to where it says match color image adjustments match color and so we get this nice dialog box and we keep an eye on our image as we do this we go all skip everything up here go all the way down to where it says source because there isn't anything for it to do right now until we give it a source so if we click the little drop down arrow uh, here is the image that I said we're going to use as the reference for the color that's in it so we just click on that it shows you all the other images that we have open we're going to click on that one you notice immediately this goes kind of wonky so uh, we want to keep an eye on this as we move our sliders so I'm going to intensify uh, the luminance a little bit really bring up the light I'm going to bring up my color a little bit as well and now we do the fade so as we bring this over it's you know bringing back uh, more of its own color and we can take it all the way to the right and you can do the little preview thing are we making any difference yes absolutely we are maybe more subtle uh, than it would be in other images but it definitely makes a difference you can click neutralize that pretty well negates the changes but uh, if you're satisfied with it, you go ahead and just click OK. Now, I would suggest uh, if that didn't get it back as far as you wanted it to go, probably we should have done, I'm going to undo that. Let's just go to history and go back to the original state. I probably should have done a, a copy of the background, which is normally my habit anytime. I'm going to work on images. So let's just do a Control J, Command J on a Macintosh to make an exact copy of the background layer. Now we run over to Image, Adjustments, down to Match Color. Again, we go down here and the source is the flat or the fall flat. Run this up. And you can go all the way up and then do the fade. You see our, our luminance is really cracking these purples. So we'll bring that intensity back down. Again, watching the preview, how much more it's lightened up our foreground. And we've got some of the elements of the uh, color in here of the other image. So I think that just an easy way to improve an image overall. So let's go to the next one. This is a, a fall color shot from years ago, and it's you know it's it's okay, but it doesn't have any pop to it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to image adjustments, match color. The source is the fall flat, and we bring the luminance up and the color intensity up and do the fade and you can see look at the, the gigantic difference it's made 
to the colors. I'm going to just move that off the screen for a minute so you can see the difference that it's made in the, in the colors in this image. And the sky looks much more deep, dark blues, rich blues. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, let's go to another image. This one's actually called Fall Colors, uh, a trip that I made. That was the only color changes I saw in any of the woods anywhere around me. So I photographed it. So let's do the image adjustments and match color. And let's go down to the source, fall flat, flat fall, fall flat. <laughs> Crank up the luminance, bring some light into it, the intensity of the color, and we'll fade that a bit. Move this over out of the way. Do the preview. Look at look at the gigantic difference that's made. We can go a little bit further. Still, we have a huge difference. We can bring back the, the intensity a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Click OK. And then we're going to do this image. Now, this is shot. Let me do a Command or Control Zero. Bring the whole image in. This, this was shot in color. You can see some color here and there, browns. Uh, basically wasn't a lot of light this is an old store that was uh, getting ready to fall in basically but uh, it in sense has fallen in so let's do the same thing with it because right now it's rather drab so image adjustments match color and source fall flat and I'm not going to run that up very far little bit of intensity and then we drag it in. I'm going to move this out of the way and we can go a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to click on the preview so you can see what a gigantic difference that's made and it looks very natural. So we can back off the intensity a little bit. We can fade that a little bit more. And still, what a huge difference that's made to that image. So we'll click OK. And one more time, let's do this image. Uh, this was shot on a very cool morning. You see the frost on the roof and on the ground. Uh, the sun had just ducked right behind the clouds as I was getting ready to do uh, the photography here. And it's very drab looking now. So we're going to do the same thing. Image adjustments match color and right off the bat it's gone pretty pretty far and it'll lighten it up intensify the colors a bit now do the fade now look at the difference I'll click on the preview what a difference it's made in that image we can bring that intensity up even more Let's move this off the screen so you can see the rest of the image. It just really, I mean, I should have done this uh, immediately when I came back in with the photograph because I started working in uh, Photoshop on this image. And I went on to paint it, but this is where I started and I started doing all kinds of color adjustments. And had I thought about coming in and doing this first, I would have saved myself a lot of time. Uh, sprucing those colors up and bringing up the light because right here very drab a little bit of light in there a little bit of color and things are looking so much better and we can cut down on the intensity somewhere right in there and still is making a huge difference on that building so I thought you would uh, find this helpful helpful for some of your images uh, let me know if it was something else I can do to please your Photoshop interests. Till next time, bye-bye.